Okay, RM, I'm going to do quite a few like short videos, uh, updates, one update every two weeks maybe. So right now, uh, the tax refund, I'm going to probably do a TV show. So I think I know which one I'm going to get. So I'm not going to say which TV shows I need. These people on eBay, they like to bid up on people just for the fun of it, so... I don't want to get screwed on my TV shows, but end up paying 300 bucks for something I could get for 200 bucks. And I need some more games. Games are randomly same price all the time. So I don't find those go up in the prices, but like TV shows I find if they're listed in auction, people will bid up, bid up, bid up. If it's worth 200 bucks, you can end up paying 300 bucks for it, so... You gotta know your limit, or you could be uh, suffering on food, so gotta be careful on that. But I'm trying to limit my food anyway, my food spending, so I think I got chicken dinner now. It's about a pack, boneless chicken is about 12 bucks. And that's quite a lot on a part-time salary, so. You need about two packs per week. So you could either be putting all your money into your chicken dinner and never build up nothing. So if you're home all the time, you're gonna, eat, you're gonna need stuff for yourself. So for some people, Netflix might be enough, and the the ROM games they have might be enough. But there are people that do have a good budget, and they do put in a lot of money into their game room or movie room, whatever they call it, whatever they go for. But I'm starting off my stuff with uh, TV shows next couple months. So I'm making a room, moving things around a little bit. So if I do run out of food funding, then I'll have to suffer one week maybe. So. Things can be pretty expensive. Just gotta be careful how much you want, think you need to put in.